The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has undertaken a dramatic new policy um, with regards to uh, regional security uh, by deciding uh, to launch airstrikes against the Houthis. The Houthis are a Zaidi Shia uh, tribal grouping who have uh, taken the Yemeni capital of Sana'a about a month ago and have moved south towards the third city of Taiz and now threaten to take the capital of the south, Aden. The previous president, or the current president, which is internationally supported not just by the GCC but also by the international community, has fled Aden as the Houthis have moved in. And so what we've seen now is a battle between what looks to be Saudi backed coalition of forces against the Houthis who have support from Iran. Firstly, what will happen in the immediate uh, aftermath of these airstrikes will be an attempt by the Saudis to push the Houthis away from Aden. They will attempt to make sure that the support base uh, behind the Houthis is weakened dramatically through airstrikes. Now this is questionable, it is unclear as to how successful this policy of airstrikes will be, but I think Saudi Arabia at the end game has an idea in which they will return the president to power and they will try to negotiate an agreement between himself and the Houthis in which some sort of power sharing agreement uh, in which the president dominates um, is brought to bear but of course what they want and, and more than anything really uh, is to see Iran's influence uh, pushed out of Yemen entirely. This crisis has international implications. Uh, a number of states, uh, not only just those in the GCC, but uh, Egypt, uh, the United States, Britain, France have all pledged support to this Saudi operation against the Houthis. So it has internationalized this conflict in Yemen in a way that has dramatically shifted the importance of Yemen um, in regional security. Um, given that at, we are at a time where uh, nuclear negotiations with Iran are undergoing, where Iranian Shia-backed militias are working to try and take back uh, Iraq, the regime of Bashar al-Assad uh, in Syria, backed by Iran, is also looking quite strong. This is a pivot moment, uh, not just in the supposed Cold War between Saudi Arabia and Iran, but also uh, between the West and Iran. So what happens in the coming days uh, will certainly define the uh, geopolitical space for many years to come.